I said over here, eat your hand. And, um, yeah, scarf, the food is everything. It's kind of weird. I'm doing videos and people not looking weird or nothing like that. I guess people think I'm FaceTiming. It's kind of interesting that we're in a day and age where you can do this type of stuff and, and people not even looking at, giving a second glance, honey. It's just normal. <laughs> Anywho, let's go ahead and talk about Love and Hip Hop, the new Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, season seven, um, episode one, okay? Alrighty, so everybody looks fabulous. I don't understand why Tummy's back. Um, they brought up Erica Mena, okay? She's real pretty, okay? I was like, who is she and stuff? I mean, I haven't watched a little bit here about basketball. I ain't watching that. You know, I'm, you know, I'm invested in shows. That's what I watch. And they all at this party and stuff over there with, with the, with the um, Jamaican chick. I got her name. You know, she was though twerking on stage and stuff. Charlie Red is there, Mimi Foss is there, the Dime is there. Y'all go. So some people. And um, so everybody's there. Um, Mimi Falls, every season she got a different damn girlfriend. Let's talk about that. And Mimi Falls, she acts like she the real chick. She had that mean looking face and stuff. And she always in these past seasons act like she the real down earth to earth mother. You know, she's real classy chick and everything. But meanwhile, she doesn't fool me because she always doing these sex tapes. She have a different girlfriend or boyfriend in the East season. She has like interesting mess and drama and, and don't care about Stevie J and stuff, but I know she fucking and doing all that, she dipping and doing and dropping low and she acting like she an angel. I'm like that. You're not fooling me, girl. I can see right through you. I don't like that. I like, girl, I can see you. Okay, and Carly Red, it's kind of weird. I like how, she, how genuine she is throughout the whole season, but when she get through the reunion, honey, she wanna act and be a different character and that's not her, like kind of hood. You know, I'm like, girl, that, that, you be the nice Carly Red that they hire you for, okay, girl? And stuff like that. Look beautiful and, 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 and be everybody's friend and, and stir some drama. Do you. Okay, that's my take with color red. And what else was that? And then, oh, it's up. let's talk about me and this new girlfriend, honey. She's a WNBA. I don't care about her. I actually like the first girlfriend better. Okay, she was getting host. You so disrespectful, girl. I liked that girlfriend the best. This one here is okay because she kind of very, you tell she's very intelligent. Um, The one, the second one, okay. I like that, that one. But I mean, I don't know. She, she doing the most. Okay, moving forward. As the leader, show that New York doing a Puerto Rican thing. As the leader, she doing a Puerto Rican thing and she doing her performance without Stevie J. Stevie J popped up and she sounded bad. She sounded horrible, honey. And that's what he basically said. You sound horrible. That's why I haven't done nothing with you. And she like, hey, you haven't done nothing with me. Blah blah. Then we see meet Erica Mena. She like, I don't want to do that. And she's uh, friends with the leader and stuff like that. Mm. 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 Let's go about what my mind's doing. Anyway, that she was like, she was like, are you fucking a leader? I don't want no drama and everything. Else. He want to work with her and stuff. And she was like, let me see and whatever. He invited her over. And she was like, did you tell us a leader that I'm coming over and stuff? He was like, yeah, yeah, I, I got you, I got you. He giving them that nasty, ugly look. And said, so I like that. It's not cute. And you cute and, and everything. But with all them interesting looks and everything and whatever. I, I don't trust you and I don't like you and th th that don't, that's not sexy. That's not sexy at all. So anyway, I just found that to not be sexy. He was giving her them nasty looks and stuff. It was not cute. It, it was exactly like America, Erica Mena and like I thought and everything. He's just smiling and letting them try to go at it. I'm sorry, I mean, it's me now, but the sister, the sister I thought was pretty. But I guess it was kind of interesting how Tommy told her story and stuff like that. And I'm like, Tommy, you wrong as hell. And I don't understand why they got to talk Tommy on here. She got the hood. I guess she bring the drama and the fights and stuff like that, and, and I don't like her. But anywho, um, as Tuffy was telling the story about, so I guess the mama wanna, you know, wanted to um, reunite the sister and, and, and Tommy together. And, um, but Tommy was telling the story why they fell out and stuff like that. And she was like, I went on to the judge to talk to her and stuff, and she called the police on me, and that's why I, had, I, don't, I don't fuck with her. <laughs> I was like, okay, girl. You went on to her job, honey. I called the police on your ass too. You didn't tell the whole story what you why you went to the damn job and stuff like that. Gerba, I mean Gerba. I mean I don't understand why Tommy on here. But anywho. I should be drinking coke. Yeah, you know, my mind is like I'm like eating more healthy, I'm starting to eat eat more healthy, I got vegetables in this, honey. And everything. But anyway, Tommy and his sister started fighting and girl were about to fight, honey. Last year, by herself. 
And I felt that she was coming up, up and come up and come up because she was all about, I tell who's coming up because they're about to hustle. They hustle and they 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 doing their business and, and she's all about her business, she's all about her hustle, she's all about her grind. So I knew she was gonna come up. But um, at the same time, she was by herself last year, remember? Now all of a sudden everybody came out the woodwork and, and they loving her and, and they're looking great and everything. She got her mama got her hair did, honey, and she got brothers and sisters and cousins all in the house and stuff like that. I find that very interesting. <laughs> you know, you know, family and friends come out at the woodwork when you get a little coin and um, I noticed that and stuff and that's just prime example exhibit A of, of when people come out of woodwork when you get a little coin, okay? I just found that. Did you observe that? My dreamers, I observed that, okay? And um, I, 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 did, I did not like that, okay? Anywho, Rashida's storyline got good, honey. I see in the beginning of the storyline, they tried it. I seen a little basketball of his son and stuff like that. And I, you know, last year, I said that that was his son. I figured that was his son. I didn't say it, but I figured that that was his son. I just, because he, he looked like he fucked up. And I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew, I knew it. And I think that the scene with Stevie J, um, Young Jock, and um, that chocolate thing, they didn't put him in there, his chocolate thing on the side. Not the rapper rapper that everybody know, the one next to him on the left, on his right hand side right there on that boat, honey, he was fine. Ooh, tell him how at me, okay? Aaron, Aaron Fantasy, you hit me up on my dirt DMs, honey. How you doing? I have got his name. Was it not Big Ben? I don't know what his name is, he was fine. But anywho, the one wearing the little fitted jeans and stuff with the blue, he was fine. Hi. Anywho, that this is you can tell that's his real friends and um they really did, you know, was that for him and they gave him real good advice. I did appreciate that. And that seemed very real, uh, you know, even outside of the camera, I can tell that they're real good friends. Um but anywho, um But I, I figured that that was his son. I did figure that was his son and um when it happened was he went and talked to Rashida like he, you know, the, the guys went ahead and told him and flew him to do. And um, she basically was like, no, I'm not letting you back in. And um, don't worry about me, just worry about these kids and stuff like that. But you know, she's hurt and I feel like she will heal and stuff like that. And But she's done no turn up, she's enjoying, but I mean, I feel like she want him to do a lot. And um, and that's sad, so it's sad because he really did fucked up and you can tell in his facial expression he fucked up. But anywho, um, one thing I did not, this was a great episode and stuff like that. And they, and they did a, they did fucked up two things up with the producer. You know, I'm, I do in depth and I talk about the show stuff. You know, I'm a writer, director, producer, stuff like that. And, and, I, and I, I, I don't have this channel just because. But anyway, my advice is to, to the producers and stuff, stop putting the previews of the next scene over here. That was annoying and everything. Especially, I felt like everything was flowing really well. It was very interesting throughout. So you don't need to put the little, what's going to happen on the next scene within the commercials. I mean, I know I got this, I bought the season, so I don't have to deal with that. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure what I do is do, you know, they show the show before the commercial, they put the, the scene to the next scene, or like a little preview to the next scene and stuff. They did cut that out. I did not like that. That's my advice number one. My advice number two is, um, I guess they showed the whole season and everything, and I'm be honest, the whole season in, in the little whole season preview, which was wrong, they should have done that. It didn't. It looked boring, and that's why you shouldn't have done it. It looked boring. Okay, they didn't have no just the just a dime fight and stuff. I don't know why you got just a dime on here. She's not gonna serve no drama. She's not fighting nobody and everything. We don't care about her being married and stuff and being in love. We don't care. And uh, um. That, that this that whole season prologue thing it was not very interesting to me I'll be honest okay and um, what else what else bothered me that's it the, the, the previews and uh, the whole season prologue thing you should have uh, uh, scratched that because it was interesting throughout if it's not interesting throughout and, and, and be like okay I need to come back to these commercials and see this see you know it wasn't like that so you don't need that that's what I'm saying but anywho great episode I thoroughly enjoyed it it was really good. Everybody looks fabulous. Everybody looks good. Even Tommy, okay? Even Tommy. But I felt like, I felt like her sister looked better, to be honest. <laughs> her sister looked better. And she got that little white girl. You can tell there's layers within the sister. I see why they, they doing the sister thing within her storyline. Because her sister got some layers within her that I, I, I want to see. So that's very smart. 
but um, and time we're gonna bring the fight. So I can understand it with a marketing, you know, ratchet show type of viewpoint where they have turned me on here. What else was interesting? What else stood out? Mm -hmm. uh, Many of we didn't go in the storyline. It's weird. Oh, Jocelyn. We left in after the editing, honey. We're going to cut this down. Jocelyn, does it feel interesting without Jocelyn? I'm not being on them. That crazy ratchetist type thing. Um, it's gone. That element of the crazy, the element of like that storm is coming type thing. Um, that crazy, you be laughing, Rosalind with her language and how she slaughtering the English language and stuff. The real crazy thing with her tatas and all the nakedness and breasts and stuff that she, that it, was, it feel like something is missing after the fact. I mean, when you watching it, it feel, it's flowing, it's great, like I said, without the preview and stuff like that. It, it's going fine and everything, but it, you could, after the show, within like, I feel like 10 minutes after, I'm like, oh, okay, I feel, I can feel Jocelyn not there. I know Jocelyn was calm last season and stuff like that. She turned up a little bit at the end, but um, that you know that Jocelyn was still looming. You seen Jocelyn still in the previews, and she it, it, it felt like a real love in hip hop Atlanta. This one here, after the whole thing, it felt like a different type of show, which was good, but it wasn't. It wasn't loving hip hop Atlanta. There you go. Anywho. I don't understand why this family over here looking at me now, okay? But I'm through with the review, okay? I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna stop eating this soccer with you. I'm watching my figure, honey, okay? Because I've been driving them buses, been sitting down and sleep all the time, honey. And um, I picked up a little weight, so I'm, I'm trying to. I've been saying affirmation. My stomach is flat, my ass is fat, okay? And my ass is fat now, okay? And, um, we're doing it. Mm, 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 mm. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think below. Deuces. Bye. And be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Become one of my dreamers and get your trending life here at AF Live.